everybody, Mark Spector Comics, and I'm back. This time with my top five picks for new comic book day. If you're interested in finding out my top picks, stay tuned for that intro. Hey, right, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. So this week's video, we got my top five picks for new comic book day. And I'm also going to have the drawing for the contest entry from last week's um, new comic book day video. So stay tuned for that. So this week's going to be um, pretty heavy uh, DC week. Um, I do have one Marvel book in there as well. Um, no indies this week, which I was a bit surprised. But um, I think last week was pretty heavy on the indies. So uh, let's get right into it. Um, number five this week is coming from DC. And we got, uh, let's see, I believe it is Catwoman, issue number 44. First full appearance of Red Claw in the mainstream DC Universe. Um, Red Claw did appear in the final page in issue number 43, but this is uh, well in issue number 44, multiple pages. Um, I do recommend, let's see, cover A is pretty cool, but if you can get a copy and um, of the 1 in 25 done by Sozo Micah, it is a rather hot copy. Um, it is selling pretty well already in the secondary market. Um, so look out for that one if you can get it at ratio. Highly recommend picking that up. Um, these Catwoman Sozo Mica incentives have been doing really well. But um, that's my number five this week. All right, so moving on. Number four this week is going to be my one and only marvel title it is number one and this is coming from new fantastic four issue number one um art done by nick bradshaw writers peter david it's a five issue limited series featuring spider-man hulk wolverine and ghost rider um the cover a <laughs> um is probably one of the Ugliest covers I've personally ever seen from a Fantastic Four number one. <laughs> um, I probably recommend cover B. It looks much better. But uh, that's my uh, number four this week. All right. So uh, number three this week. Let's see. We're going to do from DC. Like I said, this is a pretty heavy DC week. We got Batman, Superman, World's Finest, <coughs> excuse me, Batman, Superman, World's Finest, issue number four. This is the um, first appearance of Batman, Superman mashup character, uh, referred to as the new um, by artist Dan Mora. It looks like in the um, pages in there, it, the character gathers the powers of the Green Lantern ring and turns into this mishmash character. Um, doesn't seem like it's going to be anything too spec worthy down the road, so don't go crazy on this book. Uh, it's just a little minor key. There, there are a couple of incentives um, to look out for as a 1 in 25, 1 in 50. I would not go crazy on these if I, that's me personally. Um, I'm just going to look for the variant cover done by Dan Mora, which does have the new character's um, appearance on it. So it's the first cover appearance. That one's actually a pretty cool cover. I'd recommend getting that if that's what you're uh, going to pick up for that book. So um, that's my number three this week. All right. Number two this week, we got... I believe this is also a number one. And um, let's see. Yes, it is a number one. We got Aquaman and the Flash, Void Song number one. 
This is a three issue limited series featuring the last remaining heroes, the Flash and Aquaman versus the invaders from the outer space. Um, it is a $6.99 cover price. Uh, it is, like I said, it's a, it's a bigger book. Um, I want to say it's written by, uh, let's see, Jackson Lansing and art is done by Jay Ansoletto. So uh, that is my number two this week. All right, so before we get into our number one this week, we're going to go ahead and do the drawing. A few moments later. This is the, um, the contest drawing for the DC Pride number one, the one in 25, Jen Bartel from last week. So all you had to do was enter in the contest. So I got the list of the people who entered correctly. And uh, so uh, good luck to everybody, okay? All right, here we go. Looks like we got uh, Mark the Cuddy Sark and Carolina Chris, Shattered grit, uh, Glass right at the forefront. Uh, these are always very interesting because uh, I looked at a bunch of these from uh, previous videos that some of the characters, the ducks that are out in front in the beginning usually don't end up winning, but we'll see if that's the case this time. So we got Jade up front right now. We got Mark the Cuddy Sark right there. Back in the lead. We got Burke Family. Looks like he's trying to creep there right in the front. What we got? We got 20 seconds left. Good luck, guys. Who's going to pull through here? Counting down. Got Love Rules there at the top. Looks like he's trying to make the run. Who's going to do it? Who's going to do it? Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Mark the Cuddy Sark. Congratulations. So uh, just reach out to me on IG and I'll get that book sent out. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. That was fun doing the little duck race. And uh, congrats again to Mark the Cuddy Sark. Uh, just like I said, reach out to me on IG. I'll get that book sent out your way. So rounding off the week. Our number one this week, going back to DC, yet again, we got <clears throat> for number one, Black Adam number one. First appearance of Bolt, a successor who receives Black Adam's powers. I think it's great that they're doing a number one that's leading up to the upcoming film later on. I want to say it was either September or October. The um, trailer looked pretty cool. I'm excited about it. Uh, this is going to be written by Christopher Priest and... Uh, Great writer. I've had the privilege of meeting him once before. Really nice guy. And uh, art done by Irvin Rodriguez. Um, very interested to read this uh, series. Um, let's see. There are a couple of incentives. There's a 1 in 25 by Crystal Kung. 1 in 50 by Cully Hammer. And a 1 in 100 done by Lucio Perillo. Foil. Um, that one in 100 looks pretty cool, um, but I wouldn't go too crazy about it. I would just pick up the cover A. Um, it's a little surprised to see Lucio Perillo doing a, a high uh, incentive ratio. Usually he does just uh, store exclusives, but uh, that looks pretty cool. Um, excited to read that issue this week, and uh, that's my list this week. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that. Let me know in the comments down below what you're picking up this week. Are you you know picking up any of these titles? If I've missed anything that you're looking out for this week, just write it down in the comments down below. All right, guys, until next time, Mark Spectre Comics, out.